Hey guys, I'm gonna teach you how to make the independence exploit for the PlayStation 2. Okay, the first thing you need for the um, exploit is for the PS2, the fat model. Um, I suggest the C S C P H three zero 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 one, which is I think the first model ever made, and I'm lucky lucky to get that because my other PS2 broke and this exploit is pretty helpful. The next thing you need is a 8 megabyte memory card for the PS2. I'm using this, um, yeah, 8 megabyte Magigate card. It's made by Nyko. It's a pretty reliable card and it's pretty sweet. The second thing you need is a, of course, Sorry, I'm moving the camera on. Um, is a USB flash drive to do the simplest way, which is the um, the Max Media Player or other stuff. The sa it's Save Manager that you need. So that's the second. That's the one of the other ways. And then you need a file manager CD, such as what I just said a second ago. Um, Action Replay Max. Unleash the power. Beat the game. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, these come at at least I got mine for forty bucks, which came from with this and that the CD itself. Um, it's pretty sweet. It's reliable, and it's a game that I mean, it's a game cheater and a file manager and an independence exploiter mover. This is gonna go in a few parts, just to let you know. Then you need an exploit CD. In this case, I'm using Road Rash 3D. Um, there's only a certain amount of these that actually work, and I, I'm, I'm told this, but I picked this one because it's pretty easy to remember. And what it actually um, detects it by is uh, SLUS code. See right there. You guys can do that and then you have to go to out there. Slash 00524. Then you need a network adapter. Um, in this case, mine's technically modded, so it it's, has open wires. I suggest not taking it off unless you have a certain hard drive that doesn't fit and you know what you're doing. Um, what I do is I have to pull, push this over. It um, lets the PC, I think it's called PCI, I want to call it PCI. It lets that go in and this in at the same time. But you have to keep this part in more because, of course, it turns on your PS2's hard drive right when you turn your computer on. Then you need any typical hard drive. I'm in this case I'm using a 30 gig Western Digital um, WD300. It's it doesn't fit and that's why I needed that. That's sort of why. Um, and now I'm gonna show you how to make the exploit, which I'm gonna have to use the camera because my computer's too slow to use screen capture software. Bear with me, okay?